$10,000. We're going to be talking about how to make ten grand, $10,000 on FanDuel Sportsbook, a very popular sportsbook in the United States and Canada. So let's get into it, right? And I say this all the time, but a lot of people, they rush in, they see an ad for FanDuel, they sign up and they start degenerately betting. They don't even really understand what's going on, right? They're placing bets live. They're placing all these crazy parlays. And if you don't have a strategy, if you don't have an edge, a mathematical edge over the sports book, you're never going to make money. So in this video, we're going to talk about really everything you need to know to make money on FanDuel Sportsbook. So just as a little bit of transparency, there's a verified bet tracker. It's called Picket Sports. Picket Sports, P-I-K-K-I-T. I don't have an affiliation with them. I just use their verified bet tracker, which will track all my plays on FanDuel. So FanDuel, it's not a massive part in terms of my sports betting. It's not the most of my profit, right? And what you're going to see right here is my ROI on FanDuel is roughly 3%. Over a few hundred bets in 2023, nowhere near where the bulk of my profit is coming from. But again, every sports book has different odds from one another. So I say this all the time, but you know when you look at all the sports books available in your location... There's probably points bet, Caesars, DraftKings, you know, bet online. There's probably a bunch of different bookmakers that you have in your location if you're watching this video. So really, you should be getting all of them, right? All of these books have different prices. They all try to set lines independently. So you'll notice for Kawhi Leonard, you know, tonight over one and a half made threes, it's minus 220 on FanDuel, which is a horrible price. FanDuel is ripping you off if you're betting on Kawhi over one and a half threes at minus 120, right? You can get minus 190, 30 cents better of improvement on DraftKings. So just like a savvy investor, right, or a day trader, you're looking through the market and you're looking for value. And as a sharp sports better, what's so crazy is all of these bookmakers, right, they price lines, they set lines independently. So as a sharp better, you actually, in a weird way, it sounds crazy, but you want to have as many sportsbook accounts as possible. All these books are offering different prices. So it's like having a stock. It's like if, you know, every place you looked at the price of Bitcoin, it was a different price. On some exchanges, it's 10 grand. On some, it's 15 grand. It's crazy, right? But as a sharp sports better, that's literally what it is. All these books... The market is so fragmented, all these books are setting lines independently. They all want to be unique. So having more sports books is advantageous. So long story short, as a sharp better, you know, you don't only want FanDuel, but you want to be using points bet, DraftKings, you know, Caesars, Bet Online, as many sports books as you can sign up for in your location. More books means more profitable betting opportunities, right? Like here you can see a really good bet popped up for tonight on USC plus 130 on Bovada. This profitable play where you're getting insane value on USC, it's only on Bovada. You know, FanDuel, where is FanDuel? So it doesn't even look like FanDuel currently has a market up for this game. But if you only had one sports book, Bet Rivers, or Five Dimes, you're placing your bet at plus 112 when there's another book offering plus 130, right? You're getting ripped off. And if you're, it's kind of like trying to be a successful stock trader or investor if you have to buy everything at 20% higher of a price. You're just screwed from the beginning. So as a sharp better, kind of the first key, if you want to make money, is getting as many sports books as possible. There's 178 on Odds Jam, because again, you never know where the value is going to be on a given day. You can see there's a super profitable bet right here on under six goals in Canadians Kings. You can get that plus 115 here on Bet Any Sports. No other book better than, you know, plus 108, pretty clear value. You know, Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker out there, they're all the way down at plus 103. You can get plus 115, 12 cents of improvement on Bet Any Sports. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. But long story short, you can make money off FanDuel. But again, it's just one book you should have in your arsenal. Now, when you're thinking about making money, there's kind of, you know, you need to consider your risk tolerance. So there's a lot of low risk strategies for making money sports betting. One is promos, right? So you'll notice on FanDuel, they have a lot of these promos that are essentially loss leaders for the company, right? If we go to FanDuel, you can see they have an $1,000 
no sweat first bet. And you can see right here, if your first bet loses, you get up to $1,000 back. So you place your first bet on FanDuel for $1,000, let's say, or $500. If it loses, you get your money back in site credit, right? You get your money back in bonus funds. So a lot of people, like this promo is super profitable. Same with this one, TNT Thursdays, right? This is a loss leader for FanDuel. They offer these promos because they have to compete with Bovada, right? They have to compete with other sports books. FanDuel is in competition with all these sports books. You can see Bovada has a $250 sign-up bonus. You know, we just said it a few minutes ago. There's 178 sports books on Odds Jam. All these sports books are in competition trying to stay in front of betters. So they offer these promos as loss leaders, right? They're trying to get you hooked on their platform. FanDuel's trying to keep you coming back. So some of these promos are super profitable and really easy ways to build your bankroll on FanDuel. I mean, the sign-up promo is insanely profitable. The profit margin of an $1,000 risk-free bet is hundreds, hundreds of dollars. It's not technically $1,000. This sign-up bonus isn't worth $1,000, but I've done some other videos breaking down how a no-sweat bet works or a risk-free bet. They're the same term, risk-free bet and no-sweat bet are the same. So I've done a ton of content kind of breaking down how profitable these promos are, but this promo alone is probably worth $600 if you know what you're doing. This promo is also super profitable. It's worth roughly, you know, four, three and a half dollars in profit margin, and FanDuel offers it every Thursday. So even just in terms of promos, you know, these odds boosts, they have an odds boost tab. Just in terms of promos, you know, here you can see an MSG three point bonus. Right, FanDuel spends so much money on marketing. DraftKings lost a billion dollars last year. They lost a billion dollars from aggressively marketing and aggressively offering promos to customers that are really profitable because DraftKings has to compete with FanDuel. So long story short, as a sharp better, you know, you want to take advantage of all these profitable promos. FanDuel saying every Thursday, place a parlay, and if it loses, you get your money back up to $5. I'm going to do that every Thursday. I'm going to place my $5 parlay, and if my bet loses, I'm going to get my money back. That's a no-brainer promo. These are super profitable. But anyways, let's keep going through. So it depends on your risk tolerance on FanDuel, right? So promos are pretty low risk. They're super high profit margin. You know, the sign-up promo, you can end up hedging on other books if you want to. Like, you can think about it. This bet is risk-free. So if your first bet loses right? Then you get your money back on FanDuel. So what you could do is place two bets, one on FanDuel, one on, say, DraftKings, and you could hedge them out. And let's say your bet on FanDuel loses. Well, then your bet on DraftKings is going to win, and we're going to get our bonus funds back on FanDuel, right? So there's ways to hedge this bet um, that we've kind of explained in other videos, so I won't dwell on it. So on FanDuel, you know, there's kind of different strategies that are low risk, the main one I'd say that a lot of people love is arbitrage betting. So we have a bunch of strategy videos kind of on arbitrage, but what arbitrage is, is you're essentially day trading sports books, right? You're taking advantage of when their lines are so out of sync from one another that you can bet on an over and an under and make a risk-free profit. So usually this doesn't happen, right? Like most of the time you'll see there's a spread baked into the sports books. So Bet Online has a 46 cent spread, right? Right here, if you take a look at Kawhi, over one and a half threes. So they're saying you can buy Kawhi threes, you can bet on his over, you can buy his over at 196, or you can sell his over. Selling his over is the same as betting the under for $150. So that's a 46 cent spread, right? The way that sports books make money is they're like stock brokers. They buy stocks for 10, they sell them for 11. They make that $1 spread. It's no different on a sports book, right? Plus 155, minus 190. DraftKings is baking a 35 cent spread into their market. Bet online, an offshore book, has a 46 cent spread baked into their market. Right, so what arbitrage betting, what's so crazy about this, is because all sports books set lines independently, all sports books have different odds from one another, you sometimes run into these very rare situations, they're not super common,
But again, like if we go to FanDuel, it's actually so crazy. If you go to FanDuel, I mean, just for one game, so these are games for tomorrow, so there's not a lot of markets posted yet. But if we go here, for example, you know, to this game tonight, look how many different things you can bet on, on FanDuel. I mean, these sports books, they're all setting lines independently, trying to keep everything in check. In each game, I mean, each NHL game, which isn't even that popular of a sport, has thousands of odds, thousands of different lines that you can bet on on FanDuel. First period puck line, first period result, goal in first 10 minutes. So these sportsbooks do a pretty good job at keeping their prices, their odds in check with one another, but occasionally they screw up. And here's an example of where FanDuel's screwing up, right? I can bet on Westbrook over 16 and a half points at plus 130, I can get his under 16 and a half at minus 125. So here you can see the spread is inverted, right? Usually the plus number's less than the minus number. That means the sportsbook has VIG baked in. Here we can bet on the over 100 to win 130, and on the under, we only need to bet 125 to win back 100. So due to massive discrepancies in sportsbook odds, it's kind of like having a stockbroker be like, hey, I'll buy that stock for $10, and then there's another stockbroker who's saying, yo, I'll sell you this stock for $9. What you could do is you could buy the stock for $9 and then flip it, sell it for $10 to the other guy, right? That is arbitrage betting, right? You're taking advantage of different prices, of vastly different prices between two sports books. And I mean, here you can see it's a massive discrepancy between FanDuel and DraftKings. I mean, DraftKings has Westbrook under 16 half at minus 125 it's minus 192 on FanDuel. So as a sharp better, you're literally like a day trader. You're taking advantage of these inefficiencies and you can use an arbitrage calculator, you know, um, essentially to see how much risk-free profit you'll make on FanDuel. So that's called arbitrage betting and it requires two sports books. But when I started betting on FanDuel, I was arbitrage betting a lot. And probably that's how I made my first 10 or so thousand dollars on FanDuel was just arbitrage betting. I would get home from work. I would see where their markets were crossed with DraftKings. I would pull up an arbitrage calculator. I would bet on FanDuel, bet on DraftKings, and then I would make a risk-free profit. Here, your risk-free profit is roughly 1%, right? Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, a 1% risk-free profit margin doesn't seem great. Right, but what you have to remember is, okay, let's say my bankroll on FanDuel is 500 bucks. I make $11.11, .11, so that's pretty good. But you have to remember, like, this game's today, right? So it says today, right? So you're earning a 1% risk-free return in a day. So if you're not lazy and you're arbitrage betting every day, 1% a day means 30% risk-free ROI in a month. 1% risk-free ROI in a day, which is this arbitrage bet. If you're doing that every day, 30 days in a month, 30% ROI. Your bankroll will go from, let's say, 10,000 bucks, right, to 30% higher, 13,000 bucks. So you'll make $3,000 from arbitrage betting, even just hitting these low percentage plays right and again arbitrage isn't specific to FanDuel here you can see some arbitrage bets between bet online and Bovada and again more sportsbooks you have more arbitrage bets so now the more profitable strategy that I'd recommend is positive EV betting so positive EV betting typically the profit margins are higher which are listed under this percent column right so arbitrage betting your risk-free profit margin is right here 0.97% right so if our total arbitrage stake is let's say you know a thousand one hundred and thirty eight bucks we're gonna make eleven dollars and eleven cents maybe your bankroll is a bit smaller you only have a hundred bucks in your FanDuel account you can make a risk-free 222 right and again sometimes these numbers don't seem you know that great but you got to build it up you got to build up your bankroll right if you start out arbitrage betting with a thousand dollars easily in a month I mean, usually there's plays every day for 2% on every sports book, arbitrage bets that you can get in on. So 2% a day means 60% ROI a month. Your bankroll will go from 1000 bucks on FanDuel to 1600 if you're arbitrage betting every day. And again, we have some strategy videos 
you know, on the website kind of explaining arbitrage betting. So if you want to make risk-free money, if you don't like risk, if you're just looking for risk-free returns, you want to make 50, 70, 80, 90, $100 in a night with no risk, definitely recommend looking into arbitrage betting. And we have a bunch of tutorial videos if you type in Odds Jam Arbitrage. Esports, I mean, you'll see arbitrage bets. You know, you never know when they're going to occur, which books they're going to occur on, which markets, right? We can see arbitrage in NBA player props, first half point spreads, NHL, you know, total goals. It looks like there's a lot of value here on under six and blue sharks, 1.22% profit margin, right? Arbitrage play, you're getting plus money on the over and the under. That doesn't happen, does it? Very often. So positive EV betting is in general higher profit margin, but it's more risky because your bets can still lose, right? With arbitrage betting, you're literally making a risk-free profit, whereas with positive EV betting, you're risking capital when FanDuel screws up and is offering way too good of odds, right? So right here, you can see FanDuel's giving us plus 174 on Kawhi under one and a half made threes, so it's just the bet in bold, shaded in green. That's the profitable bet. So you can see with a 1.29% profit margin. And again, you can set up whatever filters you want. Um, you know, you can only look for specific leagues, stuff like that. You can only look for specific sports books. Currently, I mean, it's late at night. Most games have started. But currently, the highest profit margin bet on FanDuel is Kawhi under one and a half threes at 1.29%. So similar to arbitrage, this is your profit margin, right? But now you're risking capital. With arbitrage, your gains look like this. You're literally making risk-free money. Arbitrage betting, if you place this arbitrage bet, you know, it's not like you're gonna win or lose a massive sum of money. You're gonna make $17.27 of risk-free profit if you get this arbitrage bet down. So as an arbitrage better, you're rushing to get this arbitrage bet down and then you know you made 1727. It doesn't matter if Russell has zero points, 10 points, five points, 100 points, you know, whatever. Regardless of what happens, based on this line discrepancy, you're hedging, you know, so you're making a risk free 1727. With positive EV betting, you know, your bet's either winning or losing. So there will be variance, you know, you'll have some swings in your profit, which you'll notice in this PowerPoint, right? Like FanDuel's whippy. 3.19% return, but there are winning streaks, there are losing streaks. So I'm a positive EV better, and that's how I've made, you know, basically all of my money sports betting, over a million dollars at this point. But you'll notice it's whippy. You gotta be able to deal with some losing streaks, right? Some winning streaks, and you really need to monitor your success over the course of a long period of time. I mean, you can see here in 2022, I placed, you know, over 7,000 bets. This isn't even including the pushes. So you can see brutal losing streaks went down 25K in this period after going up pretty quickly to start the year, and then went up pretty rapidly, then down big in December, and then up big in December, or down big in November, up big in December, ending the year at 205K profit. So you gotta deal with variance as a positive EV, EV better. And this form of gambling is the easiest Literally just select FanDuel, the books you use, hit the bet in green with a circle around it. That's all I do every day. And again, this is just data-driven sports betting. We have one, two, three, four sports books, right? This odds jam column, we just copy the pinnacle odds. So there are four books all telling you this line should be priced around, you know, plus 145, plus 150. Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world. They're pricing Kawhi under one and a half threes. At plus 140, you're getting 34 cents of improvement, right, on FanDuel. 34 cents of improvement. Enough value to beat the VIG and beat the juice, right? So a lot of value, a lot of improvement on FanDuel. So I'm not following my gut. 99.9% .9 of sports bettors follow their gut, which is why 99.9% .9 of sports bettors lose money. Right? I just follow data, follow the market. I'm not smarter than the sports books. I'm not smarter than the market and the millions of other people betting on the NBA tonight. So I'm simply following the data and picking off line discrepancies when FanDuel is offering way too much value on a player prop. Here's your profit margin quantified, 1.29%. And again, 1.29% a day. 
30 days in a month, roughly 40%. So as a positive EV better, placing 1.29% profit margin bets, you know, in one month, you should expect to have your bankroll go from 10 grand to 14 grand, right? So arbitrage betting, very low risk. You make risk-free money. Positive EV betting, whippier, but there's more opportunity, more profit margin. So we can go through the math quickly, right? And you can say here, okay, let's say my unit size is 250 bucks and I'll put this spreadsheet in the description on YouTube. Let's say my unit size is 250 bucks. I wanna make 10 grand and my average ROI on a bet is 1.29%. I'm literally just copying this number and you're placing 18 bets a day, right? So what this will tell you is here's how many days it will take you to reach your profit goal, right? So if each bet is $250 with a 1.29% profit margin, that means that means each bet has $3 in profit margin. So you need to place 10,000 divided by three, you know, 3,101 bets to reach your profit goal. Right, and it doesn't matter if this is arbitrage, it's gonna be risk-free money. Every day you're gonna be earning 1.29%, right? So it's gonna be a straight graph. You place 3,100 bets, you're earning 1.29%. It's just gonna be a straight graph upwards, right? You're just gonna make money every single day. Whereas a, as a positive EV better, there's gonna be swings, like we saw in my graph. But again, you're eventually gonna realize your long-term profit, right? So like here, it's like, you know, I go through losing streaks, winning streaks, but I know over the course of a year, you know, 2023 is starting off way too hot. That's going to end up reverting a bit. You know, no way I end the year above 10% if I'm being honest. But here, you know, I know I earn roughly 4.5% edge on most of my bets. Again, currently you don't see any plays at 4% EV, but also most games, you know, I've started every game basically I started for tonight except this one. So 4% return, I'm just trying to bet as much as possible, knowing that my return is 4%. So long story short, these are the numbers you can change, right? So like, maybe you say, okay, I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna place 25 bets a day. Now, it's only gonna take you 124 days to reach your profit goals. Maybe you say, okay, I'm gonna focus on EV plays that are higher profit margin, 2.5%, right? And I'm gonna place 25 bets a day. Now it's only going to take you two months to reach your profit goal. And you can mess with all these numbers and let me know questions. I put my email in the description as well. Now, final tips on FanDuel. Number one is they tend, FanDuel tends to screw up, right? And also, let's not forget, this is not including, right? If you're making risk-free money from arbitrage, this can be arbitrage or EV betting. So if you're making risk-free profits, just making money every day off arbitrage in the same way of that wet, as that Westbrook example we went through or your positive EV betting and going with plays like Kawhi under one and a half threes at plus 174, 1.29% edge, crazy value as you can see on FanDuel, right? Is this isn't even including the promos. I mean, these promos, stuff like this is basically free money. You know, you gotta take advantage of that. And that's an added benefit that we're not even going to talk about. Like this spreadsheet doesn't even account for the fact that FanDuel, when you first sign up, is giving you a $1,000 risk-free bet. You lose your first bet, you get it back. You get back $1,000. This is crazy profitable. Risk-free bets, $1,000, super profitable promos. Super profitable promo. Right, so we can continue going through, but one tip I have for everyone is bet on numerous sports, right? Like you'll see last year, the other category, again, this is verified bet tracker picket. So picket's a verified bet tracker, but UFC, soccer, NASCAR, tennis, like these sports are really profitable, 8% ROI. And again, they're not the main sports, they're not the sexiest sports, but you can see right now, now actually this Clippers game has just started, so you're gonna notice this bet's gonna go away because the game is now live. Odds Jam has live betting, but that's not the point of this video. So let's just refresh this. Whoa, soccer, tennis, soccer, soccer, right? Some pretty dang good value, 2.79% edge profit margin in soccer, right? So if we go back here and we say, oh, 2.79%, you know, now we're talking only 57 days to make 10 grand, 
right? If I'm placing 25 bets a day. So it really is, you have to put in the work. You gotta hustle, you gotta bet every day, right? This isn't passive income. You gotta bet every day. But the point is these niche sports like soccer, sports books tend to screw up more, right? They're less focused on them. So oftentimes some of the best betting opportunities I'll find are in tennis, UFC, um, soccer, um, NASCAR sometimes, you know, ping pong even, as crazy as it sounds. So NFL, NBA money lines are hard to beat on FanDuel. These more niche player props and leagues, you can run it up. So next thing is move fast. I mean, especially if you're trying to arbitrage bet. So we can go back to that tool. If you're trying to arbitrage bet and make risk-free money off the sports books, like you got to move quick. You are literally day trading sports. You're taking advantage of inefficiencies. So it's not so books, you know, they have employees looking for the exact same thing. Arbitrage opportunities. So move quickly to get those plays down. So know how to navigate FanDuel, right? Like where are NHL alternate totals, right? You should know how to get to all these things, how to get to all these markets, stuff like that. Um, and then also just, you know, put in the work. Like a lot of people are like, yo, you're crazy. I, I, I have to place 25 bets a day. It's like, you tell me I have to bet on the NBA, you know, some player prop for tomorrow or some first quarter bet. It's like, it takes two seconds, log in and place your bet. Not super complicated. So put in the work. Again, this isn't passive income. If you want to make money, here's your spreadsheet. This is literally just the math broken down of edge and profit margin and stuff like that and how to make $10,000, but you got to put in the work to do it. Nobody can do it for you. So hopefully this video was helpful, how to make money on FanDuel. Any questions you have, email me. Let's get it, guys.